In this video, we're going to talk about what do bed bug bites look like on black skin so that you can know if what is biting you at night is a bed bug or not. And my goal is to make sure you get rid of your bed bugs from your home permanently so you can enjoy a good night's rest and don't have to be anxious about bed bug bites and so that you can have no stress at all. So you can sleep like you used to sleep before you had bed bugs. So to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever a new video comes out. Also, schedule a video call with me so I can give you some personal tips on making sure you permanently get rid of bed bugs from your home. Hi, my name is Jeremy and we used to have a terrible bed bug infestation for more than one year but we permanently got rid of it and now we've been bed bug free for almost two years my goal is to help you get rid of bed bugs permanently so you can sleep in peace again so what do bed bug bites look like on black skin you're watching this video probably because you've been searching the internet looking for pictures of bed bug bites on black skin because most of the pictures are on lighter skin tones but the thing is everybody is different bed bug bites appear differently on different people so you cannot determine 100 percent if what's biting you is a bed bug just by looking at bed bug bites when we had a bed bug infestation my wife used to get bit all the time and i thought i wasn't getting bit and she used to have bumps on her skin but the reality is that there were more bed bugs on her side and she used to get bit a lot i wasn't getting bit very much but later when the bed bugs infested my office chair they started to bite me as well and they were biting me here on my lower back bed bug bites appear different to different people so you can't determine for sure that what's biting you is a bed bug some people don't react to bed bug bites at all but there's still some clues that you can get if what's biting you is a bed bug. Clue number one, when are the bites happening? If the bites are happening when you wake up from sleeping, you may be sleeping at night, but if you work the night shift, you may be sleeping during the day. If you're waking up with bites on your skin, then it may be bed bug bites. But here are some other clues to help you are the bites in a pattern like a row bed bugs bite in patterns sometimes you hear that they bite in patterns of three they call them breakfast lunch and dinner but are the bites in patterns if they are that's another clue that what's biting you is a bed bug another clue is where are the bites bed bugs bite on skin that is exposed when you're sleeping so for example, if it's during the summertime and you're not sleeping with many covers on, you could probably have bites on any place. But most of the time, bed bugs bite around the arms, the hands, and the face. And if your legs are exposed as well, they'll bite there. Another clue to know whether what's biting you could be a bed bug is where are the bites? Bed bugs bite around exposed areas so when you're sleeping if your arms are exposed most of the bites will come there if your feet or your legs are exposed most of the bites will be there or your face but during the summertime if it's really hot and you're sleeping without any covers bed bugs could bite any part of your body but the best way to know whether what's biting you is a bed bug is to look for the three telltale signs of bed bugs one are there blood spots around you on your bed sheets whenever bed bugs feed they bulge up with blood and when you roll around in bed you squish them and they die and so you have these little blood spots after a while those red blood spots become dark if you have that around your bed or wherever you sleep that's a good chance that what's biting you is a bed bug. Another sign is black bed bug 
feces. When bed bugs poop, they poop out digested blood. So their poop is dark and uh, it's really black. When they first poop it out, it's like um, a brown color, but then it, it becomes black. And so if you have black spots around your bed frame or where you sleep, then that's a good chance that those are bed bugs. Another sign is if you see bed bugs. If you see bed bugs, then you're probably being bitten by bed bugs. Or if you see bed bug molted skin. As a bed bug is growing, as it's developing, it sheds its skin. And so if you see parts of bed bug skin, then that's a good chance that what's biting you is a bed bug. If you're struggling with bed bugs, make sure you schedule a free video call with me where I'll give you some personal tips to help you get rid of bed bugs permanently. Also, get our free copy of eight steps to permanently getting rid of bed bugs. These are the same steps that my wife and I took to permanently get rid of bed bugs from our home. I hope you like this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and like it so that many other people who are struggling with bed bugs can get help. And hey, have a good night, sleep tight, and don't let the bed bugs bite.